Hey, welcome to the Airmere Roundtable. Today is the 10th of January, 2024. So welcome, everyone. Uh, special guest today, uh, Thomas Byron in uh, Geneva, Switzerland. Thomas has been trading for a long time. He'll tell you about his bio, but he hangs out in the Zero DT trading room in the morning, and we're happy to have him. He's always got great insights and a really, really good trader, and I think he'll really enjoy his presentation. And first time here on the Roundtable, so uh, welcome, Thomas. Uh, take it away. I'll be here and uh, monitor the chat and stuff, but... Um, yeah, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. And first of all, uh, I'd like to thank you, Tom, for making this possible and uh, having this, this uh, organizing and having great community, uh, traders. And um, I'd like to thank also Tom Henley, Martin, Eric, Dan Harvey, Terry, Schwartzy. And all the, the rest gang. of, yeah, the whole gang, all the people that uh, share time, passion for for trading, and uh, it's been great. And uh, to 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 have a community, you know, trade that it's most of the time it's a very <clears throat> lonely kind of activity. It's a great asset to have, and uh, it is really good to share ideas, uh, you know, to to exchange. Uh, info and and keep this community together i'm really glad i i join and uh, i enjoy every moment we're happy to so, have you so let's see whether i push the right button here no i didn't okay let's see okay so the disclosure first as you know this is for educational purpose only uh, you, know, you want to read the, the whole thing, thing, go to the bottom of any of the Airmir web pages. Exactly. So a little bit about me. I started the the journey as an energy, physical energy trading. That means you trade real cargoes and uh, vessels internationally. Uh, that is a very demanding task, you know, <laughs> because there are a lot of things and details that you have to take care of. And over time, uh, I did probably something like 20 years, I learned a little, uh, little bit more about derivatives. As you know, hedging cargoes and uh, hedging uh, commodities, 50% uh, of it is modeling and dealing with the uh, structure that have to do with the financial world and uh, derivatives, swaps, options, and so forth. So I work for uh, international, uh, multinational energy companies and investment banks. I learn uh, models we are using. And from there, uh, after about 30 years, I, I moved into uh, pure derivatives. And uh, to be honest with you, the only real advantage trading commodities if you have a book of physical stuff like that. You don't have the, really the insight. So much better arena, the financial world with the, with the stock indexes and all the, the tools are available. It's a fair game and, and you can uh, put it this way. You don't need a huge capital to move around the risk. So, uh, I also have an activity and I founded an advisory service to serve wealthy individuals, lazy, I would say, lazy <laughs> wealthy individuals. Uh, other, Successful but lazy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, account uh, managers, other advisors, and, um, and family offices. And um, next. So today I would like to present a workshop. Uh, and tell you a little bit more of what is included, um, what is the strategy more than a single trade. This is, uh, I will call a single trade, just a trade that is good to learn, but trading is, is combining various trades into a strategy. So starting from the building blocks all the way up to, uh, you know, a, a complete portfolio. So today we'll go through this and hopefully in a very, <clears throat> within one hour. 
And I will show you some examples of, uh, of these trades, and then I will ask, uh, I will answer some of the questions, if any. So the workshop will include three live classes. Uh, the first uh, will be basically the core concept of the strategy. Uh, the second, the rules and guidelines, entry, adjustment, and exit. And I'm sure you can read that the last one will be the integration with other strategy or other portfolio in case you have it. All this will be recorded and uh, I encourage to participate live. So if you have any question, it will be interesting to understand uh, the concern. And I think it would suit better, you know, the learning curve. So then after this, this cycle of three or if it's needed more classes is completed, uh, thinking of starting um, a trade alert. Uh, we'll have three to eight trades per week. This will be delivered similarly to the other services in uh, Ariel Mir through a Slack channel. Trading tools. I will uh, provide you with some uh, Excel uh, spreadsheets uh, customized by me. Uh, basically, this will help you analyzing the trades and uh, complete with, uh, with the package. It will be a, a video to show you how to use these tools in conjunction with uh, Thinkorswim or interactive brokers. Um, so what is the strategy? Uh, I trade based on statistics and probabilities, and this means that options versus uh, other forms of trades offer the great opportunity to know in a static way what are the odds of the position you take, single or as a portfolio. And as you know, the, the main uh, bulk uh, model used is the black and short, and I would say Merton. So most of the strategy will, uh, most of these trades will, will close the same day, I would say 95% of it. Uh, and when they do not close on the same days, just because you're, you are in a great position to carry the trade overnight, obviously, with some precautions, some edges. And um, the fact that there are now daily options aspiration offers uh, great opportunities to basically have trades almost every day. But again, with great opportunities, it's a greater risk because over trading is always a concern. And uh, the fact that you, you can access the market on a daily basis doesn't mean that on a daily basis there would be great opportunities to take. Uh, these trades are simple to execute. Uh, and you can trade, uh, let's say, with a normal account on SPX, I recommend, but there are X SP, there is one tenth. Eventually, there are futures, there, are, there is SPY, but we will trade the index. That because it's a cash settlement. Uh, you don't have assignment, and uh, you have a tax break if you if you are resident in uh, in the states. Most most of the trades will be theta positive, uh, and the profit target will be five to twenty percent. So, what uh, single strategy will consider? Well, as you know, the front expiry data are now zero, one, two, and that we would take. And the back will be the following uh, within a week frame for the trade. Um, all these trades will be based on the study on on the actual volatility curve, whether the market is in backwardation, contango. What are the differentials between the various positions, long and short, that you take? And we'll use a combination here. These are great names, but at the end of the day, the building block is puts and calls, right? Then obviously you will try to, to maximize your margin because basically the, the philosophy that in trade, you need three things. Uh, you need capital, 
you need uh, knowledge and you need time. Uh, so these are the three <laughs> building blocks. Uh, Sometimes you have knowledge, but you don't have time or you don't have capital. In that case, you can ask other people to give you capital. Uh, but if you don't have time, maybe you want to follow somebody that has that time available and offers to you after you understand the risk you're taking. And, and he, he will sort of give you his time uh, for his knowledge and his time for you to, to try or to test whether this may be, uh, may be a way to, to improve your trading skills. So the short DTE. As you know, you know the DTE now has exploded. Now 70% of the volume of the, and the open interest is in, within the first week. This has radically changed from the past where basically it was the opposite. It was 30% in the first week and the rest was uh, back in the curve. So, you know, did increase the capital uh, efficiency of the trades you put. But again, disclaimer, it could be also if the trades are bad, trading more often doesn't mean that you're making more money. It just, you know, you, <laughs> you use... Uh, but you have the opportunity, in a way, to to hedge yourself, uh, to trade, to take risk on a daily basis. So that leverage again on already quite high level uh, leverage level on the options market, in having the opportunity to get in in the same day, taking out of the equation the overnight risk will definitely increase the uh, the performance if the trades are understood and are um, hedge, put, hedge, and exit in, in, in a good way. So, you know, obviously risk management is essential uh, if you want to have consistent uh, income generation. Uh, uh, that's the key. I mean, if you go in with all the capital you have, you have no more time and no more money to defend the position in case you have to. So that could be very dangerous. That is gambling, it's not trading. So I really, I will, I will never stress enough the, the danger of using all the capital in your power and receiving a margin call and uh, being forced by your broker to, to close the position at the worst possible time. So, by trading a short DT, you also have a reduced sensitivity to big swings in the market because you are in control of your risk. When the market is closed, that's where the real danger is because you have no control on what's going on. You, you can add any hedges in case you have to. You cannot close the position. You just sit down and wait for the next open, hoping that something will come and help you and rescue. And sometimes on the opposite, if you want to sleep with a big profit, most of the time, if you go overnight uh, without the proper tools in place, you will find out that, that the profit, when the market opens, is not there anymore. So uh, let's, this is just one of the various strategy, but you know, many people from the zero DT, um, daily uh, trading uh, alert room are aware of this, that they put a lot of double calendar, you know. The double calendar is, is basically a couple of calendars, uh, obviously, <laughs> like the name implies. Uh, a different, um, normally they are puts and calls, a different uh, uh, strikes. Uh, the double calendar, it may look expensive, but has a, it's a good uh, time decade uh, profile and gives you more flexibility in case you need to adjust because one of the two calendars will probably go in the money. So the adjustments uh, and the other will be out of the money. So the adjustment will be easier in a way. 
So the core here is to capture the volatility premium. Um, it is mm, start, let's say, at 50 delta, that means at the center of the market, and has a lower calendar in general, has a lower capital requirements because you are short something, but the 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 back you're long and that is your insurance in a way uh, so the maximum you can lose is the total value paid for the calendar the double calendar is the same times two so the double calendar offers also a greater educational value because if you understand a calendar or double calendar this will basically encompass most of the of the numbers of the Greeks and the dynamics of, uh, of an option trading desk and can offer uh, a good income uh, on a long run or on a short run. The important part is that you need to understand and know the performance of especially in the calendar where it's not so obvious because you know you will be short something and long something else. So when most of the uh, books and most of the people talk about this being long vega or volatility, well, in reality, this is a very wide generalization because you are short something and long something else. So it's the spread that matters because you know you uh, you lose a lot if volatility explodes on the on what you're short, and if the volatility the, the the basis with the one you're long remains the same or decrease, the calendar will sag. Basically, the profit that looks good now in a dynamic market will disappear, and most of the time will evolve in this. So. A good way to understand this is to do a dissection. What do I mean? Uh, well, thinking about uh, a calendar, it's a combination of a short straddle and a long straddle. A double calendar is a short strangle uh, in the first expiry. And the second leg, the long leg, it's a long strangle. So, if you analyze in any software the two separately, you will understand the dynamics of both. But you will understand a little bit better the risk. So, and these are the advantages. So, trading cost, uh, transaction cost, uh, especially if you if you trade in size, can be a big drag. Uh, on this kind of position. That's why probably using uh, SPX that with the leverage and the size of a contract, even with the minimum, offers a good uh, a good proportion between the risk you take and the commissions you pay. This is an example. Uh, this was taken 37 minutes after the market opened. The dates, it was the 25th of October last year. And uh, there is a trick here that even though it's it's a double calendar, TOS named this double diagonal. As you know, diagonal is a little bit different because the strikes are not the same strike. But in this case, as you can see on the first word, it says double diagonal here. Yeah. In reality, is a double calendar. So, this is your initial position, uh, how it appears in TOS. And this was uh, after about uh, from 37 minutes after, so from let's say 10 o'clock, after one hour and 43 minutes, that's the result. The market is 42.11 when you exit this position and was basically there at 42.12. So all good. There were no adjustments. And um, this, by the way, are all real trades. 
you know, and the snapshots are taken from either a book or a simulation taken in real time. So let's talk a little bit about various, uh, sorry, I have interactive brokers talking. To so this is a breakdown of the theta margin or margin cost. So, and you can see here that we start with the straddle, then we analyze a strand, strangle, then there's double calendar, calendar, butterfly, ion condor, and these are all uh, uh, at this parity. And I, to take this example, I took and I show you some data based on the same uh, standard deviation of risk. This is not equalized for the capital you use because as you can see here, these are the margin cost. So meaning that if you put the, just a one lot and all this is one lot, all right? If I put one lot of uh, a short struggle, yeah, my title is thousand bucks, but look, the max profit, if we finish up the center is this, right? $2,800 basically. But the profit here is only 2.87% in a perfect scenario. And this will cover you between break even down, break even up at the expiry, a $57 move, right? A strangle, uh, 10 wide, will have these numbers. So slightly less, and basically you have the same market move allowance. The double calendar, uh, will cost you 2540 for 625 theta, notional theta, what you see in TOS, right? So as you can see here, if you close exactly at the center of your structure, and this is a 10 wide, you will make 53% with basically the same market move allowance. Then there is a single calendar. A single calendar, it looks even better. But as I mentioned before, has some difficulties in adjusting the trade. But if you manage to close exactly at the center and the volatility remains the same, the, the one you are long, and you close it when the other one expires, so your profit is going to be 126% return on the 1,110 that you had a risk. Then there is a butterfly. Butterfly looks even better, but now that's the catch. The butterfly uh, will, will have a perfect center, 1,500, yes, great, but the move here is only $31, left and right. Then there is Ion Condor. This is also a very good trade, and I recommend Ion Condor as well. So let's move into what I use to this analysis. These are the orders were uh, in, in TOS format, right? And this is the visual. This is the straddle, the strangle, double calendar, calendar, butterfly. As you can see, you notice the gray area here covers more or less the same space in this chart. And the ion condor. Now, most of the following examples are trades that were either executed on my account uh, or were simulated with real numbers uh, in various zero DD trade alerts live. Uh, sessions. This was one, and I put when it was taken, and I put a snapshot of the not everybody that joined today, it's a member of the Zero DT alert service. If you have time, uh, I highly recommend joining that service that Iromir offers because it's a great deal, it's a lot of a great lead of information. Lots of fun. And uh, if you, there is a lot to learn. But anyway, these are all uh, either real trades or simulated trades. This is a combo trade using ES Mini. 
Um, and as you can see, these are the results. By the way, there is a record of all these trades. Uh, if you are a member of that uh, mentioned zero DT trading room, they are all recorded there, uh, live uh, and a snapshot. So this is another trade, um, the 2nd December um, 22. Uh, it's a double calendar trade. Uh, I also put here uh, the snapshot of the fields because you know I'm even though I like optimizations of softwares and offers a great deal of information, but real trades uh, taken live with witness, I would say. You know, a trade is good, is static in the past, but doesn't account for fear, greed, hedges, you know, motivations, and, and all the stuff that is, I think, 50% component in real life. That's another trade example. Uh, these are special trades in certain uh, situations. And, and these names, just for fun, you know, this I call it, I can't remember, the volcano, as you see. You know, I, I like to make jokes about names and how you name trades. Um, as you can see here, the most important part, I think the one you are interested in, it's that that give you very good uh, reward for the time you were in. So uh, this is another trade example at the close. It's what I call a butterfly calendar. It's a mix of both, uh, and also taken the 25th November, uh, 22. It's just a selection. There were many others, but you know, uh, since you have a life and me too, I didn't want to list hundreds of them. So next, this is a, a four slides, uh, 15 of March, 23. This is a starting position. Uh, this is a double calendar, uh, in my account. This how it, it evolves during the day. And uh, basically, sorry, this is the final uh, result. But it's pretty good in my book. As I said, these trades are real trades. These are not just simulation of the past. Uh, that simulation is good, but can offer cup fitting, you know, the emotions is taken away. And uh, it is good for building confidence if you do it for yourself. But if you want to promote or you want to teach something, fear, greed, you know, uh, patience are part of, of trading. So by doing optimization, you are relaxed on your chairs and you find the best trades. And I don't think that works. So. That's another one. That's what I call a gamma scalp, where you take advantage of various other things. Obviously, this is just a, a snap of these trades. In the course, I will go through the building blocks of trades like this, and uh, I go more in details. Unfortunately, now there is no time. And this is the final result. It's a 5% uh, profit the same day. So that's another one. 13 January 23. Uh, this is also a 20, I don't know whether it's 20 or 30 percent here. It's a good trade. That's the bingo trade. It's a, it's a calendar combined with a butterfly. That's the initial trade. You left, right, the result, same day. Sorry, this is the result. This is the result the following day. So this was at the end of the day. So the end of the day was 16%. But if you had the guts and the edge in place, the next day was 47%. As you can see, let me go back. The market was 40, about 4 yeah, around 60 here. And the next day, you are lucky you are still there. But look how wide this is. Like basically, there's no risk. So 
this is the bad trade with the hedge, right? You start a position like this, you do some, you add a strangle in different, uh, different expiry, and that's the result. It's a 12% trade. This is a very interesting trade. This is uh, the, during Halloween, I call it the night witch. It was shared live. And you see, there was some important data pending in the market and, you know, volatility was very high. We entered this trade here and the initial trades were like this. So he evolved into this on the left, moving to the one and the right. I call it the night witch because it was Halloween and also because you will see at the end, this is like a witch. <laughs> That's why I call it the night witch. The night witch implies that on this, you have to stay overnight unless you want to take the profit uh, around three, four, five percent. But if you have the, the ability to stay overnight, but warning on this one, you have to go and use futures, ES mean. So you go overnight and it looks like this. Then you morph into this and then. All the volatility at 2.30, uh, my time, that is um, uh, 8.30 Eastern time, disappear from the trade, and that's your result, 11%, $3,000 of profit. This is the, I call it the night witch goes to sleep, right? So, obviously, this involved, let's go back again. This is the real witch appearing. This involved also being... Uh, Hedging this with ES mini. Okay, so some uh, some of you know Option Omega has been around for a little bit more than a year. It's a great tool for backtesting because of the granularity of tests. It's based on one minute. They are great people, engineers, they have the software, and this is just to show you a simulation on a single calendar. As you can see here, it's taken every Monday. It's a 50 delta, right? And these are very realistic um, performances in line with the performance of the real trades. That's another one. This is a double calendar. Uh, it's a 1.7, take it every Monday, right? This is my test rank. Uh, of the strategies, um, and I'm very specific testing, and I will tell you later why I'm testing. I'm testing not to find a good strategy, but to find the levels at which you take profit, what level, what is the, basically, what is the performance of every single strategy that I, that I use vis-a-vis uh, -vis various uh, market uh, situations, various volatility levels, uh, various, uh, I would say, regime of volatility. This is a rank based on the percentage we nurse, uh, 100%, and you know I have basically 284 of this. And every day I update everything, and I have a sort of menu that guides me to find if there is any evolution in this strategy. And let me stress it again. These are not strategies that I find using the tool the tool i these are strategies that i i use and the tool is helping me by finding the min max uh, capability with different simulation of, of the trade so i know where to what is the performance let me give you an example if, if you have a trade let's say that on average in the last year it's gone from minus five percent to plus twenty percent uh, you know, and remains in the range. Now you know what is the top performance. Now you know if you want to squeeze five percent, at what level of of that uh, strategy you are right now, and so you make a decision that is based, uh, uh, given all the rest of your consideration, the capital you use, the other exposure. But let's say that single position, let's say. If you target 2%, you know that 2% is like 20% of what the position can achieve that given day, that given time, and I do every day this kind of analysis. So these are more. 
and these are more. I didn't put all the 270, but you know, you can understand that it's pretty tedious. So this is my own uh, proprietary an analytic tool uh, that I will share with you. And some, some, you know, the good thing about this, they have some calculation in the background. These are just two snapshots of, of there are many pages on this. And I will teach you how to use it. But the important part here is your combined portfolio as a weighted bag based on the, on the DTE that you use. Uh, that will give you other, other theta. People call it VOMA. I mean, the relation between bag and theta, theta and, uh, and capital, and, and so forth. Um, the correlation among the strategy. And I will, uh, I will give you uh, instructions and the spreadsheet. Uh, this is linked to TOS like data. Uh, good advantage of this that you can use as live data also simulations. Meaning in, in TOS, if you if you go in TOS and you put uh, uh, I can't remember what's the name, look back or how do you call it? Um, uh, on demand, uh, on demand, on demand. Yeah, yeah. If you put on demand, it's a little bit slow, but it will give you the feed for this with the on demand price. Think that TOS will give you the graph representation of this of the numbers, but here you can. I mean, you and so you can analyze this and and do a bit of research on your. This is still part of the same uh, spreadsheets. This will give you the TOS numbers, and the second part will be a modeling done by me with numbers following the model. That is not a Heston model. That is one of the model system largely in use, but it's a tweet. Um, basically, this is tailored for calendars because we'll give you the, the Vega weighting more realistic and the Theta more realistic based on a proper model, not just those. Because of what I found out that people don't like calendars because, yeah, you see a software that doesn't tell you really what the real position is. So basically, you open the position, it looks great, then you get to sleep, hoping that this will transform you in a millionaire, you wake up next day, and there you go, you have a loss. So the two things I just said, well, knowing their performance historical, uh, mean max will help you, one. Two, having a sort of proxy to translate those numbers you see in TOS in real number, and accumulating those numbers will really the confidence to stay in the trades or abandon the trades, or not trading the trade. So these are the three most important factor when you when you deal with options. You know you need to understand properly the risk you are taking, and the risk or or put it this way the the risk of not taking a risk. You know the maximum risk in trading is not taking the risk, because you are wasting your time in front of a computer. And, you know, without making any money. But at the same time, when you put money at risk, you have to be sure that you put money at risk, not with the broker rosy picture, but with your own numbers so that you have a sort of frame. You know how much you can squeeze from a strategy or a portfolio. So when you have a 20% and the software will tell you, oh, you can make 50% and you know that the maximum of your strategy is 15%, well, that's your lucky day. You shut it down immediately because you don't you don't base your judgment on 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 what the broker is telling you. You base your judgment on what your analysis and your your model is telling you. So this is a, one of my accounts, a real account, because you know everybody's saying, "Ah, oh, I'm, I'm good, I'm not good, <laughs> whatever." This is from September to December. This is using Trey Stewart. These are real trades on one on my TOS accounts. No overnight trades, uh, apart from, as I said, 5% of it. And this is the performance. It's about 30% return on capital. Uh, I didn't take uh, over the years because, you know, who knows, maybe I've been lucky in the past, you know. <laughs> this is, these are real trades. They are not uh, just to show because at the end of the day, you know, people say, well, you know, show me what you with your real performances. The important part of this is that you can see that the, the, the shape is very similar. Let me go back. 
the angle of attack is very similar to this. See? And you will notice that also the drawdown are very similar to this because when I when I use this um, software, I don't look for comfort and say, oh, maybe tomorrow I'm going to be rich if I do this and I start to dig. No, I'm trying to find the optimal levels for this. That's why the two levels, the degree, the angle, I would call it because the arrow mirror angle of attack, yeah, is the same, right? The performance is the same. That tells that you've done your homework right and you put in practice what you learn. So the, back, the bad part, <laughs> the workshop, the cost of this, uh, the workshop, or, or we said it will be 500 bucks. Uh, after the, the the three or eventually if it's needed one more um, workshop will be completed, there will be a trade alert because I thought, you know, not everybody has the time. Maybe they have the capital or, you know, even with small capital, they, they, can, they can implement all this strategy using a reduced version of this. Uh, but if they don't have the time, but they still want to learn, they can learn. And they're having to, to put it this way, put in practice or in a simulation what they learn is a great deal. So you can probably be better than me because I'm very conservative with my capital and with the profit I take. But um, I will give you my own advice, my own studies. And put it, this is the dynamic versions of the workshop. Obviously, these are all trade alerts for simulated educational purposes. You know, it doesn't mean that you're going to put it real or whatever. This is up to you. But if you learn and you are confident, I really encourage you to do so. Also, I encourage you not to take snapshots of the good position I show you and just, you know, with the magnifying lens, go there and check what I did because I did what I did live based on market conditions and in the future market condition may be different so do not replicate this without investing this amount of money in knowing a little bit better where to enter where to exit how to hedge it because if you do so you will regret because you didn't spend 500 but you may lose much more by just replicating trades without understanding what they got so so are you going to re Require the workshop for the trade alerts like Amy does, or can people sign up for the trade alerts when they're available without the workshop? I think, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not, uh, I'm not that stringent, but I will highly recommend to do so. Okay. But th then again, there are other people that just want to, you know, it's your money, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, to, I feel responsible to tell you you do so, but if you just want to have the trade alerts, um, fine, you know you can do that. With the trade alerts, will come a lot of question and answer. Obviously, it's up to you. I mean, we are all. I assume if you risk money or if you want to learn something, you have to go for the package. But if you risk money, and it's entirely up to you. Uh, you just want to add the trade alert, fine. With me, it's fine. But I don't recommend to do that, as I said. So. And um, Gerhard asked, can we have a copy of the presentation? So if, he's, um, if sure. you send me the final version, I'll make it a PDF and make it available. I will. I will. And then there was another question, how much capital is required to implement your strategies? Uh, as you notice, I uh, well, I re there is my recommendation and the fact that I base all my performances in percentages is important. Because, you know, you may have an account of a million, two million, 10,000, 20,000. So these are percentages. Bear in mind one thing, that in options, there are two factors here. Well, the, the broker commission is one. And second, what are called units. So in the modeling, uh, especially for short tenor DTE, a unit means that, talking about SPX, five cents is the minimum. So 
I sense out of the money doesn't mean that that is a black and short model or the risk of that. It's just a unit because it cannot be, be break down any further, right? So that wasn't a problem before. If you deal with 30 days and, you know, you exit one week before, you know, you have few units in your book. But nowadays, when you look at units, uh, units are units, meaning cannot be break down. So the delta of a unit is not really a good one, you know, because the black and show cannot break that down mathematically. That's one problem. So I will recommend to trade this with uh, an account of minimum $20,000 and keep something like 25% of reserve if you exit the same day. That's the minimum I recommend um, using, S using there's SPX. There's a lot of zero DTE limitations if you're doing SPX, so I would say... 25 to avoid the pattern day trader restrictions. Okay, let's say 25 then. But if you do 25 and after a few bad trades, you're down five, well, you need to put more capital. So let's say 30. But if you do other strategy, other, if you use other tools like XSP, that is 110, there you go. You can use uh, a smaller a smaller scale. A smaller, but remember, there are two values here. The educational value, you know, regardless of what your capital is, and the trade alert. For the trade alert, uh, I will go more in detail during the workshop exactly how much capital you need. In my book, I take roughly for clients I have uh, like minimum 80% reserve, right? Uh, for my book, I made more, uh, I take probably 40% reserve. Um, reserve, I mean, don't you, I don't touch the capital. I will say 25 is really the trading SPX is, the, as you say, rightly, is, is the minimum. But then it comes another point that in that case, at the minimum of your capital, you should never, ever go overnight. So forget about a night reach, forget about those kind of trades, right? So because going overnight with no margin, no power is not a good idea. In that case, 100% of the trades should be closed. And again, and your target, let's say, if I give you the guide and say, well, my target is 5% today, let's say. If you trade a small account, maybe your target should be less than that, right? To avoid, because you have less power to to make adjustment or to do hedges, right? So that's, that's about it. But as I said, my opinion, you know, Trading is dynamic, uh, and part of trading is your margins, the use of your capital. The first rule is there are no rules. It depends what the market gives you. You don't you don't forecast what the market is going to be. You you react what the market gives you. But the problem is you react with some capital because if you react with no capital, even your knowledge is very big. You have nothing you can do. You know, like there's nothing you can do. So. I would say that's not much different from some of the other uh, services I've seen uh, on Aeromir, like AMI and stuff like that. So there are, com the difference is that this is combination of various strategies, but you know, let's say in a day I give you three post potential strategy and your capital doesn't cover all those. Well, it's up to you to pick one. If you have enough capital, you can do three. And then Bill asks, how many adjustments during the day are typical? Uh, that I will not tell you right now, because as I just said, I don't know. But I will be sure that the volume you put initially has some reserve uh, to be able to exit and edge, it, and edge the trade within the trade performances. So it's not going to be... Some days you probably end up with 2% and regrets because the you know, the, the position will make more. But that depends on what the market is doing, the volatility, uh, the study, and, and the day of the week. You know, the days of the week are different because if you put the calendar, let's say, 1-7, costs you a lot of money. If you put the calendar 0-3, uh, I mean, Friday, Monday, they cost you less. So... So these are all things that there is not a, a rule that covers them all. It's like talking about calendars, time spreads. Uh, 
different is you know a butterfly is a butterfly your gamma so the, your your gamma by the way is a second derivative of delta so the acceleration of your gamma in a 30 day butterfly is almost nil but also your capital is intensive but your theta is almost none right so you will find the right balance and to find the right balance it needs to be developed starting from your capital your time your commitments and your goals if you want to make i don't know out of a thirty thousand dollars account one percent today that's okay you may have very few adjustments to do that. If you want to make 20%, mm, then you have to stay longer. You have to foresee adjustments. You know, this is a performance is based the risk on risk off and the capital you use has to be compensated, logical. And you have to have hands on deck. If you manage to stay longer, uh, the reserve will be bigger because if you stay longer, it means that possibly more adjustments are needed because the market will move uh, more. In you know, there is more time for the market. But this is all statistics. Let's say that you know, and I want to share something live that wasn't in the presentation. Um, uh, did I? Sorry, no. This is not what I want to share. Okay, let me share this. This every day we use this. This is what the market. It's, it's a great website. It's a zero DT. This is zero DT, but I have analysis for one DT, two DT, three DT on my own software. But put it this way: uh, this that you see here, the the add the money um, drawdown, right? So the loss of value, so you gain or tether, the, the market make a move or whatever you call it, it's $17 at the start of today. Now is nine, right, great. What is the problem with this? Well, you have to be able to stay at the center of your price all the time. And that is not possible. You know, if you plan to stay at the center of your strike, that is the most profitable position to stay center, right? Well, you need to foresee a lot of adjustments because unfortunately the market will stay there forever. So the intensity of your capital and your trades, it's a function of the time you are in the market and your goal. So that's essential. Um, and this uh, that I just show you, doesn't mean that the market now is always retaken live at the center of the price. So unfortunately, you cannot stay at the center of, of all the time, right? But you will have to find a position that is manageable enough not to have too many adjustments and to allow you basically to have a reward for the time you invested and your capital you invested that is logical, that is feasible, and is repeatable. That's why we trade on statistics. Next, it's uh, this is the trade alert things, right? That is in line with um, the arrow mirror style. And, last, and remember, this this doesn't start until the workshop's over. So yeah, exactly. Yep. And and then okay, this is just the the, the final one. Let me um, there's something else I wanted to share that is not being included. Okay, it is this. This is a 50 delta calendar, right? Sorry. One six. Okay, taken Tuesday. So, 
updated up to the second of January. These are twenty lots, but performance as a you know is pretty much in line. Obviously, you know here you don't have um, the the there is a point here where you don't have trades, right? You don't have that trades because the zero DT, the, the everyday DT is something new. But um, when you do this, and in case you use this kind of software, do not look, in my opinion, do not look for the perfect strategy using this. But and when you do the the optimization, be sure that you put a realistic one, like require two consecutive hits of profit target and two consecutive hits on a stop loss. Uh, include obviously, um, include obviously the the cost for this thing, right? Fees and uh, and basically this great tool, and I want to promote this, but they give you basically a breakdown of the strategy. This will help you immensely to understand, based on the strategy, the performance of the strategy. See, you had some losses here. This was a big loss. What happened here? Oh, well, boom. That wasn't a good day. But anyway, this is uh, that's about it. I keep it within one hour, as I said. There are a couple of questions, and Bill asked that the alerts and adjustments should be uh, via SMS, and, and we can do that. I can show you how to set that up on the uh, on the admin or the expert side of things where you've set a trade alert. It'll go out via email, text, and um, Slack. So that's probably something we can do. And then uh, uh, the workshop will be live, and I think it's going to be on weekends, on Saturdays, right? Yeah. Yes. Also, and... you know, I have a pledge to make. I will not let any of the people joining the classes, the workshop, uh, without uh, a question answer, put it this way. I will not guarantee that, you know, you could make money, but because I, I'm not able to do that, unfortunately. <laughs> but I will tell you that I'll do whatever in my power to answer all the questions you have. Not only there, you will send me emails or whatever, and I will take time to answer it. So, And there are a couple more questions. Uh, Ken asked, are you able to share what the average max risk is per trade? I will share during, well, I just did. Uh, let me go back. Max uh well um sorry that's not the right one this trade alone this 50 calendar uh from november 2020 20 to uh the that's the max throwdown if you go down here, okay, there's some the average loser, the average winner. You will notice that most of the trades are seventy five percent. Why? Because it's a basically a little bit more than a standard deviation around the money. So you want to keep this under money, but this is not hedge. The hedge by by profit taking and our hedge by uh, stop loss. Bear in mind that these are raw, meaning all this is without the hedges. That's why you analyze the single one to understand how far and when it needs to be hedged or when you need to put another position. But to answer your question, this particular trade, uh, it's, uh, it's about 8% drawdown. Now, if you filter with the losers, This day was the biggest losers, was four thousand dollars, right? The third of October. No, sorry. There was this one, big one here. But bear in mind, this probably 
were days, uh, I'm not sure about this, there were days where there was a big announcement, the Fed or something else. So this is a raw data, meaning that maybe that day you wouldn't in the market, right? Take the trade. So you can avoid some of this, uh, but let's say you, you trade every day, right? This is your maximum drawdown. I hope that answered the question. It was a great question, but and then uh, let's see, Abraham asked uh, what the average time in a trade is typically. Uh, another great question. I would say is um, about three hours. And I know the answer to this one. He says, "Do you trade NDX?" Uh, NDX, you... I, I do not trade NDX. Yep. And then Manny says the majority of the trades will be intraday trades, so they were out by the end of the day or on trades that were held overnight. I guess um, most of them will be entry, same day, right? Same day. Uh, that doesn't mean that there are zero DTE trades uh, where gamma is very high, uh, meaning that there will be zero exit you will exit the same day, but maybe your, your trade will be uh, one day forward. Say in the case of a calendar, the short is, it's one, so one day from today, right? And the back, as we said here, all right. Well, as I said, the rule is there are no rules, right? There will be some zero DTE uh, as well, let me rephrase, but most of it is going to be used for a hedge. It's not going to be the leading position. We go back here. You see this zero here. Uh, that would be a very small fraction because I think that the way I trade, the, the, the zero DTE has just, it requires too many hedges and the gamma is too big that very promptly your hedge becomes the leading dominant position for your delta. So what do I mean? I mean, if you start with a calendar, but then you buy um, the short, for instance, it becomes immediately uh, a long delta position, right? So there wasn't the initial trade. So whenever the hedge is the leading one, the hedge hopefully should lose money because that means that your, your primary position is still making money, right? I'm talking about single strategy, not a, a combination of strategy. In, in a portfolio strategy, that is different because you plan to put two or three and you combine them, not all in one go, possibly. So it's not really a hedge. It's just the flexibility of your position. I hope that answered the question. Okay, and let's see if there's any other questions. Oh, do you know uh, what what day you're going to start? Like, probably could be this Saturday or a week from Saturday. Uh, I will make uh, well. If it's this Saturday, it's going to be very slim. I would like to add a little bit more. Maybe next well, Saturday. We, yeah, why don't we do it a week from Saturday for the first one? Yeah, that that. But I leave it up to you. I mean, uh, and they will be a week apart. Uh, definitely. I think so. People, on that I take your materials. advice, Tom. You are the master of this. I mean, yeah. Um, how many how many classes do you think there are going to be? Roughly three. Uh, I'm going to be three, needed? but I don't I don't put the limit because I don't know the composition of those classes, the question, the things, and you know, the minimum are going to be three. But I will foresee at least an extra one, sort of uh, recap one, Q and A, uh, that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, um, I didn't mention that, but once that is over, and if you are into the trade alerts, they're going to be regularly the sections of the market or the position. I am not going to discuss the market because I think in my personal opinion, that's a waste of time. I mean, I'm, me telling you that because of this or that, the market should do this and that, not really. We're going to discuss volatility. We're going to discuss uh, what, if there are new spending news, how the new week will evolve, how we plan to trade, how much capital we want to put at risk, 
and so forth. But in my opinion, there will not be, there will not be, uh, you know, we reach the bottom, we reach the top, the market will do this, the market will do that, because we trade on statistics and uh, we trade the odds as they are provided by the market maker to us. Okay, and then here's a, a link for everybody too. Don, let me go back to the first, the the last one. Yeah, so we haven't set up the trade alerts yet. So as far as that special offer, what we'll do is people who bought the workshop when the workshop's ending, and the trade alerts are starting, we'll send out a link to those folks with a special link to get the discounted price. Yeah. We will definitely, unless there is one subscriber, then I will, uh, I will do yeah. it <laughs> personally. You know, it costs me less to meet personally. I'll come and visit you at home. All right. If it's only one, but let's say that definitely this package here, it's, it's with a 20% discount. It's a good investment. The, the thing, the requirement that you had to subscribe minimum to two quarters, right. To have this discount. Well, and I can I add that to that that page. Um, so if you give me, uh, I got to run Trading Group 1 after this. So give me about an hour and a half, two hours, and then I should have the link for the package as a discount if you want to sign up all at once and just get it over with. Yeah, sure. No, this is up to you. I mean, you know, not uh, my, 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 I'd say my expertise stopped right. trading. <laughs> it doesn't... <laughs> Okay, I'll I'll get that added in a couple of hours. Okay, but by the way, I tried the link that you sent me for the alerted a jam. It didn't go anywhere, so I couldn't buy my own. Uh, on, I guess because it wasn't done already. The presentation, correct? Um, yeah. If you try okay. clicking on that link in the chat now, you should. It should work. Uh, okay. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Good. Just some... all right. I couldn't subscribe myself. <laughs> oh yeah, don't worry. You, you get comped on it. You don't have to pay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that's good. And just the last thing before we go, Thomas has been in our trading room for over a year now, and he's a top end professional. He really knows what he's doing. Um, he's got some great education and insights, and he's trading large, large size compared to what most of us are doing. And he's been doing it for years, and. His insights are very, very valuable. So I think five hundred dollars for this workshop is definitely worth it. It's, it's, you know, if you get one or two ideas out of this, it can save you five hundred dollars in your trades going forward. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, and, and let me add this: this is not really a single strategy. This is a, a we take strategy as an example. Uh, I'm not talking the trade alert, but based on those strategy that that give us some data, we see the plus and minus of putting those strategy on in a portfolio, in a combination, in with hedges and stuff like that. So the value of this that you will learn from a complex strategy, and then you can apply that to simple strategy that are not mentioned here by your own, but you will have a better understanding of the movement, the dynamic nature of uh, the option uh, uh, trading. That for sure. Because you see, I can teach you, all right, I'll do a vertical, all right? If you want to know what the vertical is, it's plenty of free stuff on YouTube, and there are other presenters, mentors that give you uh, the basics. I think are covered by CBOE. They're, they're covered by this. You can get it for free. But study those because that's important for your education. This is a little bit more advanced, but the real goal here is to analyze the opportunities as a trader. Right? What is the opportunity here? What are the dangers? What are the um, the good trades? Uh, in my in my view, all right. Obviously, this is my point of view. But I think you know the great value of uh, the, the, the thing is that from educational purposes only, you can implement this and learn a great deal in your future. In case you want to take them, strategy, regardless of the alert service and stuff like. That. Absolutely. All right. I think that does it, Thomas. So thank you so much for presenting and I look forward to the workshop and we'll get together 
for whoever signs up for it and figure out a time for the Saturdays, but I imagine it'll be Saturday morning for a few hours. I don't know how Let long me get the this classes straight. are is, going to be. Is not this Saturday, is the next Saturday. I'm oh, a week not... from Saturday, right. Uh, all right, yeah. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Thank you yeah. all, and thanks again for the support and all the, the people that I know. I feel like really they are family, and uh, you know, and the people that I don't know, I, I hope we we will get to know each other, you know. And I will, uh, I will do all my best to to give you and share some of the few things I know. Sounds great. All Thank right. You. Well, thanks everyone. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you.